Hey guys, what's going on? So it's your video, video. Today we are back in Seven Days to Die. Last we left off, uh, we made a couple general repairs after the disaster that was last night happened. And, luckily for us, or maybe not so luckily for us, I, 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 was, I was going auto transition mode there. I was using my go-to transition, luckily. And uh, we're on context. I was going to say, I did ask you guys, you know, to tell me about your embarrassing stories and whatnot. And uh, I just like to sincerely thank everyone who did share said stories because I mean it really isn't easy to share you know things like that that you might not be comfortable with saying and or make you look like a complete it, it just make you cringe when you look back and uh, you know thank you guys uh, you got you got it got, got me a chuckle but don't worry I trust me when I say I feel your pain there's so many examples of so much stupidity that I've done that you should not feel bad at all. Uh, yeah, but thank you. Now then, what were we doing last time? I'll tell you guys one of my, you know, stupid stories because, ah, man. Uh, sit down, you know, right now, go make some popcorn, start making it because this is gonna, this is gonna get good. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sharing the best though. Keep that in mind. The best is like. That never is... Oh, this is where the sniper barrel mold is. Nice. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that means we should be able to moldify pretty much all the parts we have. I do believe that... Not even. We could just... Oh my god, what am I doing? We already have... We got extra parts. It's, uh, you know what we're doing? We're making another sniper rifle. So that is sort of one of the greatest weapons possible. So, goal number one, make sniper. Goal number two get bullet molds. Bullet molds are going to be crucial for us. Now then. Hey, it's enough. Beautiful. Look at that. We just gotta find some stuff to burn, which we were having trouble with last time. We'll, we'll figure it out. Hopefully we'll add in a piece of paper for good measure. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab the rest of our parts. But yeah. So, game plan for today. We need to go out. We gotta get a little bit more clay. I'm not really seeing any clay on our part in these chests uh, never mind I'm a buffoon there seems to be plenty well there goes that part of the plan <laughs> wow I feel dumb okay well then what we're gonna be doing I heard the sniper rifle too we'll go up there grab that in a second but for now we just want to go ahead and create the necessities for bullets Along with that, we are going to need to gather a couple rocks. So we might go through the tedious task of mining a couple. Yeah, we might need to... I, we could go picking up rocks, but at the same time, we could go mining the kind of resource rocks instead, which might be a tad bit more interesting. We might get ourselves into trouble. And also, in other news, I actually looked at the game settings for the first time in forever, and it turns out... My promise to turn up all the difficulty settings and whatnot, we're already on the highest spawn rates possible. And uh, slightly higher difficulty, along with feral zombies. So that explains literally everything that's happened to us. <laughs> Ever since Taco showed up, I think I changed it when Taco came in. Okay, what was I looking for? I was looking for the shovel that we don't have. Why do I need a shovel? I'm looking for the pickaxe that we don't have. Son of a gun. How do we get this pickaxe? I'm guessing we're going to need to use some of our precious, precious iron. Not really. Iron's not super hard to come by, but we cannot lose this pickaxe. This pickaxe, until we get an auger, this is going to be key, key to our survival. God damn it, we need sticks. Uh, we might need to go and chop down a couple trees then. Alright, you know what? Operation chop down some trees. Uh, really, as soon as we chop down the tree, we should be able to just craft the pickaxe. So, we'll do a little bit of a resource run here to get the resources necessary for Casa de Estrella. That's how you say House of Star in Espanol for all of you uh, non-foreign languageites. You know, because I'm taking a Spanish class in high school and it makes me a certified genius. Just, you know, I'm, I'm automatically uh, just articulate Spanish uh, uh, speaker. <laughs> I don't know why it was so hard for me to come up with speaker there. Ah. Alright, so what I'm thinking we do, I think I see what looks like three trees? Or two very oddly shaped trees that have not yet been drawn in. Two oddly shaped trees that have not yet been drawn in. I hear zombies too. Hello. We got what well, seem to be a couple spider zombies in the distance. We got crawler in the grass. Always, they're so deceptive. They're just, ah. Really, crawlers in the grass. Worst nightmare. Oh, 
god, that was like. Yeah, but crawlers in the grass, it's like, whenever a zombie horde happens in the open plains, crawlers are, it, it might sound stupid, because they don't usually seem to be super, like, dangerous, even though at times they definitely can be. They're just like, when you're when there's a zombie horde attacking, you don't pay attention to the ground, you pay attention to the hordes of zombies running at you at eye level. So, you know, why, why am I hitting grass? It's really weird. Uh, so, just those zombies go unnoticed, and then, you know, you, you hear zombie screams, you're like, oh, you know, it's, you can't, you can't use sound to, 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 to deduce, oh my god, my word choice today is extremely poor, uh, to deduce that it is a crawler that is right next to you, and that's where really their lethality comes in. I mean, it's such a basic enemy, but god damn if it has a powerful impact. Now, on the other hand, we got dogs. I'd say their impact is powerful. They're also annoying as shit to deal with. I mean, crawlers, they can be annoying too, but they're not annoying as shit. Alright, that's two different degrees of annoying. Alright, there's an entire scale dedicated to this, where research is piles and piles of research papers have been done by certified scientists in the video game field. And you know what? They've done this, they've researched this, and they've found out that crawlers are annoying, but that the other zombie whose name escapes me, dogs, are extremely annoying. And you know what? I did not just pull those statistics out of my ass. I am not an individual to do that. There are studies somewhere that will probably back up my claims. Okay, that's how confident I am in my claim. And also the whole annoying scale, it's its pretty complex to be honest. It starts with, uh, I think it starts with annoying. Just flat out, not, not even, it starts out with, yeah, annoying. We'll go with annoying. Then goes, annoying is tits, because, I, I don't know, tits is just a fun word to say. I'm not going to lie, you know, not, not even in a sexual sexual type of way. It just tits is a fun word to say. I'm sorry, but it's just like tits. It's like, it's so short, precise, and yet, I don't know, it fits so well with, uh, whatchamacall, it just flows well with annoying, I don't know, as tits is just such a majestic simile to use, and it's, I, simply words cannot describe it, even though I'm currently using words to describe it, you get my gist, now then, these rocks are actually coming apart, well, I'm happy, these rocks are doing good, it's like, what is it, two hits and a, an entire layer breaks off? Two, three hits? I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to have some extra iron fragments. I think, yeah, we'll make this the last rock. We're going to have some extra iron fragments, though. And small stones. I think that's the only two things you really get from them now. Yeah, iron fragments and plenty of small stones. Because what I want these small stones for is to expand our mining operation upstairs and whatnot. And then we'll also get the... Uh, the thingy-mabobber with the other stuff made, uh, the, 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 four, uh, the sniper rifle made with the bullets, and then we will make shoot. And also, subsequently, with all of the zombie hordes that will probably be rushing at us. Why did I craft down all of that wood into planks? I just really... God damn it, man. So stupid at times. It's okay. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are used to my stupidity by now. If, if, if you still watch my videos... You're probably used to my stupidity. It's just, it's just a fact of life. Like how gravity exists. It's a fact of life. You know, you can, you can go in depth and explain it, but it, it's just there. That's all you need to know. Now then, the other thing we need to know is where the hell our short iron pipes are, because we need some of those babies to make what matters. That being forges. Uh, we could use a pistol barrel, like substitute that. I'm not sure. That's how it works, though. We got one and so much scrap iron. Oh, that's so much. Uh, let's put the book away. Actually, no, we're going to need plenty of fuel. Uh, we got wood. What am I talking about? We don't need that. Uh, anyways, now that I'm off my tangent, I think I'm done with the tangent for the most part. I explained the whole annoying scale, the years of scientific research that have gone into backing my 100% true hypothesis. All that stuff. God damn it, I just put two and two together. This entire time, I thought all of this stuff here, I thought all of that was sniper parts. <sighs> I'm not the brightest. Okay, so we got we got a receiver, and we got a sniper stock. We need handguard, 
scope, and we should have a barrel upstairs. Another thing that we're probably going to want to do, because of this, yeah, we probably want to craft this and get into some forged iron, which we will subsequently craft into 12 short iron pipes here. Now then, while I try to multitask, which is very difficult for me because I I can be a, quite the stupid individual at times, I'm going to try to do something while talking about something completely unrelated and doing the thing I'm doing well. Uh, this is going to present a challenge to me. Please don't shit on my day and be like, oh my god, Star, are you so dumb? It's like, I, I, I know. I know, it's an issue I have to live with. However, damn, these forges are sexy. Look at that. Uh, we gotta bring some iron up. Yeah, we do. Okay. Why don't we just put those two where they belong? We actually have enough for all the bullet molds, too, which is great. Gonna be crafting up a bunch of these bad boys. Now then, for the worst time, that... Fuck! Oh, wait, did I pick it up? Yes, I thought I just deleted it. I'm like, oh my god, I was about to... <sighs> no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Plants, you know, our little organic farm. Not growing at all. Now then, time for my embarrassing story. Now, a disclaimer. I apologize if it's not super embarrassing. Like I said, the best stories, I mean, the most cringeworthy stories you will never hear come out of my lips because of the fact I simply cannot share them with peace of mind. I would be like, ugh. Oh. Just thinking, thinking about, thinking about it gives me, like, shivers of how stupid I was. It's like, I just gotta understand, you know, at times it can be a struggle to be me. I know it sounds very unlikely, but yes, yes, I, I struggle. And, uh, yeah. So, embarrassing moment now then. Before you call me stupid or whatever, keep in mind, this is 6th grade we're talking about here. Okay, 6th graders... Me as a 6th grader, I was not a very bright person. That is putting it lightly. I I was I was dumb as fuck. I really was. It wasn't that I was dumb as fuck. I was in like I was in pretty advanced math classes and like the t t most advanced classes and math was like a grade ahead too. So with that it's like it wasn't stupid. However, I never really tried in school. Because it's middle school, they always they always stress to you. Oh, it's so important. You gotta if you uh, in our school if you missed out on uh, what is it? If you didn't do your homework, you'd have to spend lunch the next day without your friends. You would have to straight up spend it with like teachers just for no reason whatsoever. And uh, so that is so stupid because in high school you don't really get penalized for not doing your homework. It's like most teachers will be like, oh, okay, I understand, turn it in tomorrow. In middle school, shit is run tight. Okay, there's no room for error when it comes to that. You, you, there's no excuses. You could, at least in our school, you could not come up with an excuse that would legitimately save you. It didn't exist. Fact of the matter, it didn't exist. Now then. It's unrelated. Little mini rant about middle school. I, I just, I, I, ha I have to go off, off, off on a tangent at times, guys. I apologize. But, uh, also, here we're getting a sniper rifle back. Hallelujah. That's what every person wants. God damn, it's so sexy. Uh, so, the embarrassing thing was a kind of extracurricular activity, you know? It's just a little extra stuff you do with your friends. And it's like, oh, cool. I do extra stuff with my friends, too. And it's like, yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> now then. God damn it. I, I can't focus. Anyways, it was uh, kind of like a little carnival event kind of deal going on. I think that's the best way of describing it. Kind of like a carnival type thing. And, uh, uh, where's that drop? And we might just run after that instead of being productive. I didn't even see it drop. Thank you, game. You're so nice to me. Uh, yeah, so it was kind of like this carnival type thing, like every year we kind of had this little carnival outside the school, and usually carnival, like, that that's where you go to impress bitches. I'm not gonna lie, I i attempted to be a player in middle school at times, at times. My ways of being a player were probably some of the most ineffective, stupid things ever, 
because in middle school wasn't really cool. Am I cool now? Not really. It's kind of, it's kind of, just, just normal, I guess. I, I hope. I'm hoping I'm normal. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with being weird, though. I mean, most of middle school is weird, and eh, it buffed out somewhat. <laughs> I don't know. Did it buff out? That's, I guess that's not really for me to judge. Uh, but yeah, I need to focus because I'm so stupid. Let me put the planks in here so I can like just, just, just think because I'm so dumb when it comes to multitasking. Just get some of this going so we could start crafting up some bullets here. That's, that's all we want. Okay, that's good. Those are being crafted, and then we'll just kind of go organize and stuff. So, it was this carnival type thing, and I, I had a crush on a girl at the time, not gonna lie. Sixth graders, I had a crush. You know, this girl, she was cute. I liked her. Did she know? Probably not. However, that didn't stop me from trying to be an imbecile to impress her. What do I mean by that? Well, I didn't really talk to her. She probably didn't even know I existed, but I thought if I looked cool around her, she would notice me. Not talking to her. I'm like, talking, talking's for dweebs. Why would I talk to people? Talking gets you nowhere. And that's why I was in sixth grade, because I didn't realize that talking is kind of what you gotta do to, you know, to, to, to really do anything in that regard. And so, my dumbass wanted to impress her by playing in football. Now then, being raised in an entirely Polish household that doesn't really approve of football because they think it's dumb, mostly because they're in Europe, they don't really play football. And uh, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of different culture. I guess it's, it's, I don't blame them for thinking it's dumb. It's really just personal preference and the fact that they grew up you know, in Europe, in communist Poland, because my parents were from communist Poland, uh, it was a different time growing up, and football was never really around, really, in any part of Europe. Uh, we got so many bullet casings, fuck yeah, this is gonna be amazing, bro. Now then, uh, so what ended up happening is I'm like, alright, you know what, I don't play football, but I'm, this is what, of course, I thought to myself as a sixth grader, I'm athletic. Psst, just, just, no secret, I wasn't athletic. I was fuck. I, I was a fucking uncoordinated, like, it was bad. <laughs> I wasn't athletic. I was everything but athletic. And uh, so, I tried to, I get into a game of football. Now then, trying to impress her, I'm like, alright, I gotta do everything I can to impress this girl. Because she, she was watching, because, unbeknownst to me, because I was, you know, didn't, couldn't tell the obvious from the obvious. This girl, you know, she knows. Maybe a little bit. Probably was watching because the guy she liked was playing too. I didn't know that because I'm stupid. Because, you know, you know, uh, and brain development, not too high back then, at least for me. Uh, but, god damn it, I gotta, I gotta think here. I really gotta think hard for this. Did I never learn how to craft bullets? Are you, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't be joking, right? I never learned how to. Oh no, I did. It's 762. That's why I'm like, am I stupid? Uh, yeah, but what I ended up doing is, uh. <sighs> well, long story short, I said, you gotta give me the ball right now to the people I was playing with on one of the plays. So then, you know, I was not a strong guy back then. I really wasn't. Nowadays, I'd say I'm average. I think I can lift about my body weight. That's my one rep max, so I'm medically acceptable according to certain standards and uh, yeah so back then did my best try to charge through this offensive line like the oh, not def defensive line with this like huge jacked guy and at least for a middle school he was jacked in the, in the larger scope of things he was still tiny but this pretty big middle schooler I I don't even get a chance to run into him I just eat shit. <laughs> I eat sh like I don't know what I slipped on. That's not important. Doesn't change it. Like you know what? Knowing my luck, it was probably like dog shit, literal dog shit that I slipped on, and I I, I ate shit. Not the dog shit that I probably slipped on, but you know, metaphorical shit. And then, then because I'm such a stupid person, I try to stop myself from falling. 
with my arms, like my hands. Then those slip, and I end up what I probably was spraining my spraining my knee. I, I, I couldn't get up, I couldn't walk, and uh, my and the assholes that I was playing with laughed at me. Girl, I didn't even look at her. I'm just like, I'm just my face trying not like trying not to cry because you know in middle school it's, it's a it, it can be a struggle not to cry. Trying not to cry, and uh, just face down. I'm just like, oh my god. It's looking back. It's like, uh, it just it's a perfect example of how I had no clue how society worked. I had no clue to play football, how I was uncoordinated as fuck, how I was just in general stupid, and oh my god, this ple th that's out, that's not even the worst of it, there's so much more worse, but, ah, I, the chances of those worse, like the awful ones coming out, I don't think it's going to happen for a while, but uh, if ever, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to my spiel, that is my uh, trade, I guess, for you guys telling me your deep dark secrets of cringe, so there you go, laugh at me for being a fucking dweeb doofus that is extremely stupid. In middle school. Now, slightly less. Like a couple degrees less stupid. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Next time when we come back, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing. I might warrant a trip back to town soon. Especially with our newfound sniper rifle. And ability to fuck shit up. However, again, could be questionable, but... We got the ability to fuck shit up. We're going to be ready come nighttime. And uh, maybe we're kind of fortifying the base a bit. But that is going to do it for me for now, though. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. As always, if you did, appreciate the like. And if you saw it, signing out. Love you guys. See ya.